Hello channel friends, this is W Copeland38 and today I'm bringing you something really special. I just got this in and this is a commemorative knife. This is the SOA V42 Marine Dagger Banks Edition with a sheath. It's not, got a nice uh, leather sheath here. It's got a strap that goes through the belt and the knife is to commemorate a man named Aaron Bank. He was born on November 23, 1902, and this man was an officer in the United States Army. Now he also happens to be the founder of the uh, Special Forces, and he was an officer in the OSS, and he founded the Green Berets. Now he was involved in a lot of uh, really special operations behind the scenes with the uh, French resistance and he was quite a person he lived to be 101 years old and he, he died in uh, Dana Point California now this uh, V42 stiletto is a historically accurate to the ones that were carried by the uh, by the military I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the sheath give you a nice view of her got a wrap leather handle. It is a double-edged blade. And we'll give you a little close-up here. Father of the U.S. Army Special Forces, Colonel Aaron Bank, limited signature edition. And like I said, it is double-edged. It's really long. <clears throat> the blade itself is six and seven-eighths inches. It's pretty long. Stacked leather on the handle. This thing here is really de deadly. This end was for piercings and it could also be used for uh, stabbing to boot from behind. Of course you have the really long blade. Now on the hilt you see it's got a leather backing. It's a very nice knife. If I I wanted it primarily for the historical use on it. Not really going to uh, use it for a whole lot. This is kind of going to be one of my display items. If I get it in a display case, I'll let you know. Uh, give you a little video of how it looks. Give you a little close-up here. It's very, very nicely done. The, apparently this... Uh, Colonel was involved in a plot to try to actually capture Adolf Hitler during the war, but uh, they had bad weather and it wound up having to be called off. Now these are actual thumb notches in here to keep a good grip on it. And what the way this handle's made, it's got a very, very nice grip. This thing, like I said before, is very, very sharp. Now, what, aside from anything else, what, what does this actually mean? Well, you know, we have to remember what the history is all about. And some knives are meant to just be treasured and to have. This one is going to be a treasure, and it's one I want to have. You know, I have uh, some of the stuff from the Vietnam era. And I saw this online, and I decided I wanted to have this one. It's very, very nice. It's not very slippery. You can get a really nice uh, grip on it. Give you a nice little uh, close-up of the edge. Now I did check it and it's not exactly razor sharp. And I'll give you an example with a uh, paper test here. Here's my paper. see it's not very sharp and I, I'll probably play around with it might have a friend of mine that's uh, good at sharpening knives put an edge on it because uh, it is rather dull but I've got it for the actual commemorative uh, side of things not really to uh, carry around or use or anything like that I know I've always said you know what good's a knife if it's not sharp? Well, these are primarily for, this one's going to be for display. 
Now comparing this dagger to my Smith & Wesson boot knife that you've seen in my videos before. Here's the Smith & Wesson boot knife, the HRT. Uh, there's a comparison of the blade length. Quite, it's significantly shorter than the Smith & Wesson, in case we forgot, let's do the uh, cutting test. Very, very sharp. Try another piece of paper. That one's kind of messed up from the other knife. Pretty darn good. Real well. I'm going through two pieces of paper here. There we go. Very, very, very nice. The, this is the HRT, the boot knife. But this one, this one's going to have a special spot. This is the V42 Marine Dagger. This is the Aaron Banks edition. Hope you like my little video here. Please send me any comments, opinions, like or dislike, anything that you want to say. This is a really nice knife. It, now, it costs about $42 online. So, uh, it's a little bit pricier than some of the other knives I have, but not too extravagant. And considering what it is, it's a... Uh, well worth it. And this is an actual uh, authentic replica of the uh, leather hole, leather knife carrier that they used. Granted, it's new, but it looks like the ones I've seen. I've seen actual photos of uh, military guys carrying them in World War II photos. Well, anyway, this is W Copeland 38. I hope you enjoyed my little video. I'll be back with more for you.